Yes, so uh, hello everyone. This is a uh, different kind of video. This is uh, Lawrence Fraser of Bristol Limited here in the UK. The handyman of the toy trade. Summer toy catalogue from 1956. So, who'd like to know what was for sale in 1956? Anybody? Airfix Products Limited, look. Set of plastic bowling skittles and ball bearings. Interesting, huh? General things about the company. But then we get into some cool stuff. Crescent Toys. Mobile Space Rocket. <laughs> I don't know that that could ever work. Mobile Crane. Okay. Scammel Scarab and oil tanker trailer Scamble Scarab low loader trailer I'm not quite sure why that uh, cable drum is like in that way it is I don't, I, I've never seen anything like that apparently they also did a box trailer version then we got uh, arts resets here okay we got toy binoculars probably they were quite good the toy binoculars Inflatable uh, paddling pool toys here. There you go. Little swan. Inflatable ball. There you go. There's the swan again. And there's a sort of horse. Okay. Demand poly play balls, it says there. Okay. Here's an airfix uh, beach set policy. Different kinds of things you could get there. All came together in a little bag. For a dozen. Cost you uh, 4 and 11. Which in today's money is about 25p. <laughs> which is a quarter of a pound. And then we got, uh, yeah. We got model boats, yeah. Airfix model boats, no less. So, uh, yeah. Clockwork cabin cruiser. And there's a chilling plastic boat, which is that one there, that tugboat. There's a speed boat. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Waterline model summer cross luxury liner there. That's pretty good, isn't it? And then we got some metoy boats there. Okay. Oh, the fire and there's a fire patrol boat there, squirts water apparently. Those are buckets and spades. Not much interesting, is it? I remember these buckets, these rubber ones with the two, with all the different colours of rubber. Uh, yes. Clockwork novelty toys. The Cinderella. I remember that one. Marks. Yeah, the dancing Cinderella. I know that one. Uh, Conjuring Tricks, Davy Crockett, Toy Soldiers over here, look. Uh, these are Crescent Toy Soldiers, unbreakable because they're plastic. Oh yeah, yeah so, so we're getting out of the metal soldiers here. Paddling poles, these I particularly like, these I've never seen for sale. Crescent Garage Equipment, we've got a petrol filling station there. Yeah, with oil cabinet, small petrol pump and airline, cars not included, it hastens to add. Here you can get those things separately if you want them. And then down here we got the uh, filling station. Four and six for a dozen. So that's again 25p. Mm. I've always wanted to find one of these but never could. This one I do have. The uh, car lift, I do have that. Paddling pools there. Uh, yeah, you know, police handcuffs. Let's get into some more cool stuff. Uh, yeah, toy fruit. Cool. 
we got some cars here. Oh, these are Matchbox cars. So, yeah, 1956 Matchbox cars. You can probably recognise some of these. You've got the Daimler Ambulance, the Road Roller, the Tipper Truck. There's the uh, Bedford Tow Truck. And the uh, Petrol Tanker. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. And then down here, if you want to zoom into that, and take a screenshot it gives you all the models that were available in 1956 that all the ones that were available okay over here we've got some more pictures of matchbox toys okay and then we've got the more stone uh, six-wheeler articulated trucks which I've never seen any of these because I don't think they're that easy to come by. Okay. And then we've got, uh, what else we've got? Musical instruments here. Toy musical instruments. Who doesn't like to make a noise? There's another uh, Morstones advert there. It actually gives you the whole series of what Morstones makes. Here we go at... Uh, Plastic toys, look, plastic uh, truck. Mm. Five shillings for a dozen, which is 25p, is it? I think so. Lipkin, I don't know, Lipkin model Massey Harris tractor. I've never heard of that company. But that's plastic. You got a Bedford Tipper truck there and these Rosedale polythene toys I have heard of these they're not very good quality they're not very well made mm. but I have heard of them there's not much to them really then we got some toy guns look toy guns these are Crescent as well yes Lone Star, actually, was the uh, trade name that these went under. Various, yeah. But actually, what a lot of uh, people used to do, back in those days, they used to go into rob banks with toy guns. <laughs> here you go, more uh, present toy soldiers here. Okay. Pop guns and pistols. I used to like a pop gun. If I was a cork, it makes a pop noise, obviously. Some uh, pretty cool things there, huh? wouldn't you say? Lone Star Winchester 73 cap firing rifle. I mean, that would be cool, wouldn't it? And the uh, Lone Star Peacemaker pistol there. Yeah. And then there's, uh, I don't know what that one is. What is that one? I don't know. DMCT, famous Lone Star Ranger of repeater guns and pistols. If you like, I'll show you the uh, price list there. There's the, uh, that part of it. And then there's the price there. And then there's the famous Lone Star David Crockett. Uh, gun with his holster here we got Scalex model racing cars no I'm not quite sure what these are I think Scalex I think it became Scale Electric I think it did so we got the Jaguar XX Ferrari, Aston Martin, Maserati Austin Healey, MG Sunbeam Malpine and the new Jaguar wow 6 and 12, was it? 6 and 10, that's a lot of money, 6 and 10. And then we got these various things here. Then we got some more cars. These are all Crescent racing cars. I've never seen any of these. Mercedes Benz, BRM, Ferrari, Connaught. 2 litre, 
Giordini 2 litre. I've seen pictures of them for sale. And the Cooper Bristol 2 litre. 2 and 9 each. And then we got this thing called the Revo Jet. Uh, I remember these things. They were like like a, a flying sort of aircraft made of plastic but the wings rotated and you launched them like a toy glider and these wings would spin round with elastic band power and it would fly I, I never quite understood how it did that and then we got the Comet, uh, the Comet Revo jet here and parachutists this one came with yeah, weird, huh? The Revo jet plane. And then we've got soft toys there. And toy uh, tools, so you can be like your dad. This Metoid down there, Roto, I have no idea about. It looks like some kind of flying saucer, hmm? You can probably read that and see what it does. Down there, space game. Okay. And then we've got, what have we got? Roller skates here. Let's see. Roller skates. And then Scalex and then Startex. So, I don't know. Scalex models seem to be uh, clockwork, apparently. And then we got StarTex models, which they don't need their clockwork, but they have no key. So how does that work? Is it something like a pullback? Who knows? Maybe somebody could tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows anything? And then here we go. More cuddly toys. Loads and loads of cuddly toys. There's a thing you don't see anymore because it's uh, non-PC. I'll let you read it for yourself what it's called. But that's even a word you can't even say anymore. Okay. So yeah, here we go. That's what you get for being old fashioned submarines, tea sets swim fins, toy swords sounds value toy swords and scabbards there look looks like a walking stick on the end doesn't it we've got toy tents toy telescopes there toy telephones here you can remember the days when telephones looked like that, hmm? I can. I even remember the days when telephones looked like that. That's how telephones used to look in uh, public telephone boxes, call boxes. You put your money in, okay? You press button A to connect to the uh, person you're calling to. The money drops down. If the person's not in, you press button B, you get your money back. Not like that these days, is it? <laughs> that shows you how old I am. Here you go. Toy hand grenade. That's what everyone <laughs> needs. That's what everyone needs. Yeah, you fill it with water and throw it at somebody. And then, <laughs> and then it sort of, the water comes out everywhere. Mmm, wonderful. So there you go. Automatic 200 shot water pistol. He doesn't need one of those. Ace Reynolds of Fulham, SW6. Yeah. A positive shot with every pull. Wonderful, huh? Here we got some toy sailing yachts. Star hollow yachts. Hmm. Puck plastic paintings. Mechanical bulldozer there. You can uh, read that for yourself. I can't see it without putting my glasses on. And uh, there you go for that one. That's that one, yeah. 
So that's that one, and then yeah. So there you go. 1956 trade catalog. Find me another one. I've got another one. It'll be in the next video. The next video will be a lot older catalogue than this one with far better things in it. So, thanks everyone. Bye!